Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eva. Uh, this is going to be part four, and to be honest, there's not really going to be a whole lot to do in this uh, section of the game. Let's see, what the fuck was I doing last time, actually? Oh yeah, I think we're, uh, that's right, um, let's see, it's day two, the beginning of, of day two. I believe, down the hall, there's a little boy there. We want to talk to him. The other areas, I'll kind of explore as the game progresses. I'm just going to kind of do the story shit. That's basically all this episode is just going to be about story. So, probably doesn't hurt that, uh, drinking a little Mike's Hard Lemonade. Or, I'm sorry, Mike's Harder Lemonade. I guess they felt the need to make a sex joke on that. Luckily, I won't be needing any dexterity dexterity in this 20 minutes, give or take. Yeah, so your partner, Dan Danielle, this is his son. His name's Ben. As you can see, he's a, you know, your typical black kid. He gets angry easily at his father for being a bum. <sighs> I hope no one, you know, like flags this video because I said that. Let's see, blah 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 blah. I kinda don't care what you have to say. Uh, I've actually played it a little ahead in another file of mine, so I know pretty much exactly what they're gonna say. Um, this section of the game is actually... It's quite a bit longer than the first. This this will probably take me two hours to get through this, uh... To, to get through this, uh, day. Um... Assuming that I grind like I would normally do in an RPG. If you can actually hear me, like, guzzling the Mike's Hard Lemonade down, I apologize. I, it probably sounds disgusting over, uh, over YouTube. Let's see, I'm buying your story. Well, that's good. Good to know someone is. Glad to know you're not an asshole. Let's see, I believe we have to talk to our chief. Yeah, Mr. Baker. <laughs> so funny. The memories. You were looking for me? Yes, we've had a press conference now, and I want you there too. Me? That's right, you'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. But you only answer when I ask you, fucking bitch. Because yeah, the media tends to accentuate things. Well... It does, I mean, you know, check out Long Island Medium, if anyone who knows that at, what that is, it's basically another, uh, what the fuck was her name, Sylvia, Sylvia something, it, like, I, I heard she died, like, just like in November or something, uh, she was like, a basically a con artist, psychic. And as for, while well, I'm touching on the subject, I don't think it's an impossibility that psychics can exist. I just think, you know, one, any that claim just have no evidence whatsoever. I mean, it, you know, there's actually a, um, if you claim to be a psychic and you can actually prove it, in a scientific manner, then you could actually win a million dollars. There's actually a fund for that. Um, what the hell was that one's, one guy's name? He offered like a million dollars for any psychic that could prove their powers of, you know, being supernatural and all that shit. And none of them fucking passed. So, I mean, what does that tell you? I, st I certainly still think it's possible, though, but extremely unlikely. I mean, I believe in ghosts, so, you know. Okay, what was going on? Oh yeah, I think uh, we fucked up on the interview or something because we talked. I'm kind of half, half paying attention because I already know the gist of what they're saying, so... Don't expect me to act out everything like Funky G would. Japanese scientist, huh? He probably wants to give us, you know, some Japanese... Some tentacle rape porn. They love that shit. Mitochondria, that sounds pretty kinky. <laughs> oh, oh god, it's probably worse. It's probably like some hentai. <sighs> That's sick, fuck. It's fucking Chinese. Or Japanese, rather. 
what are the Chinese like? Chinese probably like, uh, I don't know, foot fetishes or something. Yeah, so basically this is going to be the next, uh, the next 15 or so minutes. We're just going to the research lab and there, and the guy there is basically just going to explain some of what's going on in the city. I'm not going to talk to you, Baker, you're an asshole. Or not, that's not Baker, that's Daniel. I was thinking of, uh, the chief of police. Yeah, Baker is kind of an asshole. I think he gets killed later in the game. Oh, spoiler alert. I, I'm honestly not sure, to be honest. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm just curious, what do you have to say, bitch? Is that a woman? I can't even tell. Oh, no, it's Eddie. What a case to have on Christmas, huh? Yeah, you said it, buddy. Wait, that kind of looked like an ATM machine in the lower left-hand corner. Maybe I can, you know, maybe I can just deposit and withdraw some cash with an ATM card. Shit. Alright, so we can only go, really, to the museum. The rest of the places we already went to. Um, I haven't looked up exactly, but I don't know exactly what you can do if you go back to a past area. Alright then, what was I doing? Uh, oh yeah, that's right, Museum of Natural History. Sorry about that, I was uh, interrupted. Oh, fucking hell. It's my PS3 controller. <laughs> I accidentally grabbed that instead of my PS2. No wonder the game isn't fucking working. Dr. Clamp. Kind of reminds me of a high school counselor that I had. That's name is similar to that. Let's see, genetic spectrum. Hmm? Yeah, um, surprisingly, this game actually isn't too in detail about, um, you know, how complicated, you know, things are in the human body and stuff. It's fairly... It's not like rocket science, but it can get you a little bit confused later in the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, why do you keep kiss the chief's butt? I wish you would have said ass. I mean, this is a mature rated game. I mean, you, you might as well. I mean, Barrett in Final Fantasy VII curses all the time. It's actually kind of funny. I was a bit surprised at that, actually, when I was playing the game. Because I don't think I've really seen swear words in any other Final Fantasy game, at least that I've played. Let's see. Yeah, we want to go to the Museum of Natural History. Which, again, is... Th this is also in New York City. Like, if you've ever seen Night at the Museum, this is basically the, the building that takes place in the movie. I don't think I've ever seen the sequel to that movie, actually. Then again, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Ben Stiller, so... See security guard. Hmm. Y you would think there'd be more than one security guard at this at this place, but no, there's just one here. It, it, it's surprisingly stupid <laughs> if you really think about it. I mean, there's a lot of valuable s shit in this in this museum. I mean, I don't know. It's just stupid. Or maybe we could just assume that he that the other officer that the other guards are just on opposite sides of the building or something. I like Daniel's code. It kind of reminds me of, uh, like I was just playing Red Dead Redemption, and I just got 100% in it, and when you get 100% in that game, awesome game by the way, um, highly recommend it if you like Grand Theft Auto games. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, out of an outfit you get, like at the end of the game, when you get 100%. It's like a, it's like a suit, and it basically makes it so that you can't get in trouble. It's really fucking useful. I haven't really exploited it yet. Because I just got it uh, today. Because it's uh, it's kind of a personal agenda for me. Uh, oh, by the way, this is kind of stupid. For some reason, we have to put our names on this on this notepad here. I I have no idea what the point is. Just other than to wait ten waste ten seconds. I don't I don't get the point. So, anyways, back to Red Dead Redemption. Highly recommend that game. Anyone who likes Grand Theft Auto will probably like it. Um, actually, I think I like it a bit more than Grand Theft Auto. But then again, I like Bully better than Grand Theft Auto. Or, for anyone who's in Europe, it, like, that game is also called uh, Canis Canum, I think. Because of some kind of uh, copyright issue, I think. Dr. Clamp! Uh, I'm actually going to voice act this part. I, I hear you. I'm going to make him creepy. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. 
Yeah, just pull out your gun and cap his ass. Professor, we're looking for, for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? <gasps> what? This again? What is this? I can't really do a girly voice, so, you know. Bear with, bear with me on this. This man. I know him, I think. You think? Hmm. I think, for therefore, I am. I'm pretty sure uh, someone famous said that. What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Y yeah. I should just give Daniel, like, the, you know, typical black voice. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you? That sucks... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into become some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Ha ha. You two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? I like how it zoomed in on his face. That was epic. Its own. Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite! That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria, do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we are nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Which kind of reiterates what I was talking about earlier, how the mitochondria, like, like you know, IRL, it creates energy. Uh, I didn't know it was from oxygen, though. But damn, did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 20,000 volts of electricity? Th that th This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Hmm, I guess that can kind of explain. I, I still have to look up, like, what exactly is, you know, sp spontaneous combustion and when it can actually occur, like, in real life, other than just a fucking movie or... PS1 game. <sighs> but yeah, a tremendous amount of energy would be rele would be generated and le released. Melting the human into a puddle of liquid would be a simple ta task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in, in that we need the mitochondria to live. But in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? Ha, you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glo glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's what makes... That's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. These signals in is, initi is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Cell. That reminds me of Dragon Ball Z. Actually, I considered Let's Play in one of those games. Like the early ones, like the Budokai ones. Uh, like, if I could get Budokai 2 to work, because I still have that. You know, since I was like five or ten years old, I don't know. I mean, shit, that's an old game now. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this cons concisely, right? I mean, that's a $2 word for him, isn't it? Not to sound racist or anything. When I said the mitochondria... Oh, I'm sorry, it's the doctor. ...can mutate ten, ten times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognit cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world, and with this, the mitochondria theory spread like wildfire. 
You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name. Just incredible. Eve! The suspect in yesterday's cause ca case called herself Eve. What? What? <laughs> hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. I kind of changed his voice there. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. I think he's ignoring you. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it! Now that sounds like Bear right there. Like, without a doubt. Uh, take another swig of... of Mike's Heart Lemonade. So basically, we go right back to NYPD. Um, yeah, it's been about 18 minutes now, so... So this worked out kind of well. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I, st I can't stand him! That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Hey, it looks like we got a break in the case. We gotta get back to the station, eh? Hey, hang on, I'm kicking this in that turbo. I would love to do that if I was a cop, just kind of spam my, uh... Because, like, I don't know, in case you're just retarded, um... When cops' lights are showing, you're supposed to get out of the way, so basically they can pretty much go as fast as they want. Uh, assuming the, you know, the people actually give a shit about the rules of the road. <sighs> Back to the department. Oh, actually, didn't I ever, uh... Ah, shit. Um, I actually found out recently that if you give your, uh... You might have noticed the item junk. Uh, like in my inventory at some point in the game. What you can do is if you go... Is this the... No, this is the locker, isn't it? Yeah. Shit. Damn it. Wait, did I... I don't suppose I missed anything in here, did I? Well, I'll definitely take that. I'll probably use that. Because the next section, uh... Enemies can poison you, so... Okay, um... Anything else in here? Oh, I guess not. Okay, then. Pretty bland locker room. I mean, I sure you would've... I mean, I thought you would have, you know, at least found, you know, some boxers or tampons or something. Shit. Right, we're gonna go down here just so I can let you know, uh... Oh, come on. Open that door. It... No, wait. This is the dog room, isn't it? Shit. Yeah, there's a room where you keep dogs. No, this is, this is another room. Okay. Um... Oh, shit. You actually have to do it on hand. Okay, store item. Oh, really? I must have got rid of my junk. Well, fuck. Well, you see, what happens is, um, if you have this guy discard your junk, if you discard 300 junk, then he will... Oh. Well, hello, there's a tool there. Oh, wait, isn't there something here, too? I think there is. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I got some free... Sh I got some free shit, guys. Imagine that. I'm gonna store that tool for now, though. But yeah, if you give him 300 junk, you will have the possibility of getting, like, some really good, uh, weapons. So I'm going to attempt to do that. There's no guarantees, though, because this is just my second time playing the game altogether, so... I don't really know a whole lot, to be honest. Um, but I wanted to kind of explain that, in the off chance that I am able to do so. I don't know, maybe. Or wait, don't I talk to, uh, Daniel down here? Yeah let's, well, yeah, let's go, folks. Oh, that's right. We have to go in here for the stupid meeting. This kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy VIII, like, from what I actually played of the game, because I know, um, the main character, Leon, he starts out in, like, a... Uh, what is it called? Like, a school or university or some kind of... I think you're in, like, some kind of a military camp or something. I don't know. Something like that. So, th this room kind of reminds me of it, because it has desks, desks like a classroom would have, and it has like a chalkboard, you know, like for a, 
like what assignments would be on. I don't know. I honestly haven't played uh, too much of Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. Daniel. Hey, uh. God, Baker's really fat. I mean, I just now noticed that. Like, look at his body size compared to his head. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, man. Ooh, a mod permit. Hell yeah. I'm gonna store that, too. Actually, um... I think this would be a great time to stop the video for now, guys. Well, actually, let me get to a safe spot first. That way I'll, uh... I won't have to redo this shit again. <laughs> yeah, so he just kind of walks out and, uh... Basically, you have to go to Central Park. Um, I don't know, I might record that tonight, too, but I have to make some notes about certain things. Because Central Park is kind of... It can get kind of complicated. There's a lot of winding paths and different routes to take within uh, the park itself. So it's a little intimidating to try to go through your first time, as opposed to the very linear um, uh, first day that we had. So anyways, I'm going to save here, and that'll be that, and I will see you guys later.